Alright guys, welcome to the second part of your polymorphism tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over building... Well, you know what? Who cares what we're going to be going over? You guys just want to get into it. So let's go ahead and hopefully watch the last tutorial. Because if you didn't, you're going to have no idea what's going on. So let's go ahead and import um, our two classes, nums.header. And you also want to go ahead and import the other class, of course. I mean, why wouldn't you? And that is chars dot header and now we can since we import them we can go ahead and create objects from this class so nums uh, let's just go ahead and make an object called n or we can name it Gary you know whatever you want it's up to you and go ahead and put nums alec in it save me some space for this and now let's go ahead and just copy that whole thing and paste right like that so this is chars and we'll name this object C and there should be a hotkey for that too so I don't have to type that out every time because you know that's a pretty common thing so you know who's ever writing Xcode just take that in note so now since we have objects we can go ahead and add the method so the first thing we need to do is um, call n and remember we have set numbers and we have two uh, parameters we have to pass it 8, uh, 10 you can put any numbers you want so now that we have those two variables we can go ahead and add those together so n add and it's gonna add 8 and 10 together and now we can go ahead and print it out so n print pretty cool huh so this is going good so far so now let's go ahead and use some methods from that charge class go go ahead and put C set chars I think that was how you spelled it and remember this set char 1 to B in character 2 to W so now let's just go ahead and add those together and now let's just go ahead and print those babies out C print so now we're done with everything let's just go ahead and release our memory because we don't need it anymore and let's just go ahead and run save everything and we'll see what we got it didn't look like we get any errors and the first thing it says I am from the numbers class biatch and we put 18 that's the result of adding two numbers and this is the result of adding two characters and this is the print so what is kind of the point of this tutorial now that I just typed a bunch of stuff well the beauty of polymorphism is this you see that we have two separate objects which are of course from two separate classes yet however they're from different classes they have the same method names add and print yet whenever we try to use add and print it doesn't get confused that all right am I supposed to be adding from the characters class or numbers class um, the print class or the character class numbers class what am I supposed to be doing I only have one method name but yet I know which one to use so polymorphism is this plain and simple trust me it's a lot easier than you thought objects from different classes n and c in this case or numbers and characters class can have methods that share the same name but do different things so for example add and add shared the same name but they can do different things and print and print shared the same name but they can do different things so both classes contained add and print methods same exact names but they did different things and why is this possible well polymorphism because first of all and second because whenever you use a C object it knew that it was from the characters class thanks to this and whenever you use an n object it knew that it was from the numbers class thanks to this little declaration right here so whenever you called a method on n it automatically looked in the numbers class to find that method and if the method wasn't there then it would get an error so by the declaration that's how it knows what methods to use if you're saying that's all polymorphism is yes that's all polymorphism is it's really simple I mean there are a couple other tweaks and a couple other things you need to know about it but like the core of polymorphism that's all it is the fact that you can have 
different classes with the same method name in each class. So uh, that's that for this tutorial. I'm sorry it wasn't more confusing than that, but I mean, you know, if you want something confusing, then you know, uh, just go figure out Ruby's Cube or something. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want all the source code for this tutorial for free, click on the link below. It'll take you to my forum. It's an awesome forum. You should probably sign up. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.